you can see neither one of these guys gets blocked. Even the running back who is blocking just watches this guy go right around him. Because this particular cornerback is playing more like a deep half, it just you can't bomb it the same way you can other cover threes because this guy will not react the same way, which is really nice. Got it. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. It's the Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Man. She's as always got a new defense for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over a blitz that I've been having a lot of success with. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a blitz scheme uh, as well as a defense that uh, really can just be one of the better pass defenses if you're using a 4 3 playbook. Other than that, as always, if you guys want to see Woo! more videos like this, more defensive videos, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. The playbook I'm in today is the Buffalo Bills, but really any playbook that's a 4 3 playbook should have this formation. I'm going to be using the Dime Normal. Uh, sometimes it's called the dime rush formation any dime formation uh, essentially in a 4-3 playbook should have this particular play the play itself that i've been using and having a lot of success with and having a lot of again a lot of sacks a lot of turnovers with uh what i've been using online is the dime blitz too now this is a very simple defense the four play setup that i would have for this would be the cover three cloud would be one of my favorite pass defenses the cover four palms uh, would probably be the best run defense uh the dime blitz two would be in here and then the last play would be the db blitz you want to also make sure that your fastest uh, cornerback is in the blitzing spot on this team they don't have a lot of speed of cornerback so the fastest one is Tredavious White he's only a 91 speed so hopefully that's fast enough to get this blitz through other than that let's go and let's pick that play on offense we're just going to go uh, with random gun now one of the first things about this particular play is you want to make sure that you always have this blitzing cornerback coming off the opposite side of the running back if it's a play action you want to make sure that this um you know if th this blitz angle a lot of times will make sure that the cornerback that the, the running back if he is on a play action or even if he's not even if he's just pass blocking a lot of times you won't be able to rotate over quick enough to pick up this cornerback so that's something that's going to be important other than that there's not a lot of blitz set up there the only other thing that i really have to do is blitz my user and make sure that he comes down in this gap uh, over the, uh, the guard and the tackle because my job is going to be try to pull the offensive line in this direction uh, from the look of having five different um, blitzers. So basically, I'm going to do that and I'm going to guess pass. Guessing pass is really just to make sure that he goes after the running or after the quarterback and not the running back if it's a play action once again. Uh, and it'll just basically kick the pass rush up a notch. So this is pretty much it. I always want to make sure that I'm leaving this guy here uh, to be basically my pass coverage on my blind side because I'm going to drop back on 85 once this play starts. That's pretty much how the play's gonna gonna go so i'm gonna basically come down here once the play starts i'm gonna back up you can see 85 the blitzing cornerback does get in although he does get the pass out for a couple of quick yards there i'm gonna go and watch the replay because i really didn't see what happened it did look like the running back went out on a route but you can see how this blitzing cornerback just comes off the edge uh untouched and we have a offensive lineman basically blocking nobody uh which is going to be the goal most of the time now you can get uh pressure off of the running back side if they're in a play action so we'll go and we'll run a few times like that just to see if um you know if we can get any any heat that way as you can see right here the running back can't turn around and we're instantly in his ear i wanted to do that because i really wanted to make sure that i actually have my fastest cornerback doing that that's my biggest concern about this blitz is i'm not sure if i have enough speed at the opposite cornerback so you can sometimes get pressure if either the running back is on a on a, a pass pattern or if he's uh, on a play action, a lot of times you can see right here, nothing really gets out the pick of this cornerback. He gets in 
instantly, and he's basically in the quarterback's ear before the running back can even turn around and pick up the blitz, even though he's coming off of his side. So speed is the most important thing, uh, more more important than what side of the defense the quarterback's coming off of. But ultimately, it's always best, in my opinion, to have him coming off of the opposite side of the running back. So I guess it really doesn't matter what side the blitzing cornerback's coming from, and I guess it doesn't really matter what the depth is either. As you can see, like the closer he is to the line of scrimmage, I think the better the cornerback blitz uh, comes off the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it one more time. Like I said, I find it's best to go opposite the running back here. And then you can see a slower cornerback does eventually get around it. I'm not sure how fast that cornerback is. But you can see in the replay, even having him close to the line like this, he's still, like that's just a wide looping angle that I really don't want. But like I said, I don't really have, you know, the cornerback speed on here is just really not that great. So I think that's part of the reason that he takes such a wide angle. And we still have 60 bouncing back and forth here, blocking nobody on this play, uh, which is ultimately, like I said, that's the goal every single time. So we ran that three times, and I saw a check and release on one, a play action on another, and a, a the running back on a route on another. So none of them actually had the running back just staying home to block. So let's go ahead and let's do that with the under Y option. Now, if I have a, uh, a blocking running back, and I still want to get pressure. I just have to basically switch up my user. I have to blitz this, uh, you know, linebacker that I've been using, and then I basically have to come over here and use this defensive end. I'll come in a little bit as well, um, just to give myself a little bit of a short distance because I do have to come across to 85 here. But this is pretty much going to be the play: guessing pass once again, and then dropping back in the coverage uh, with this particular guy, although I don't want to be in too close because I, I still want to kind of spread this defensive line out. And then you can see here, we're gonna still gonna get pressure from multiple guys. So we're still sending the same five defenders only now, um, you know, we're getting uh, a pressure in a slightly different way. So we have three defensive linemen, a cornerback, and a linebacker. And like I said, that's going to basically flood this area where the running back doesn't know who to pick up because multiple guys are coming in. And you can see by the time the play ends, there's multiple defensive players around the quarterback. So to recap, there's multiple ways to get pressure with this particular play. Uh, it's also a very good pass defense, though. One of the things that I didn't really go over is um, the soft squats on this play make this a really effective uh, coverage which even if I don't um, you know, go the full route of setting up this blitz and everything. Uh, the soft squats, people don't know, the thing about soft squats is they man match the same way cover three match does, the same way cover four quarters does. Um, if it's just like a straight streak, which can give a lot of cover twos problems or a, like a fade, which goes around the cornerbacks a lot of times, the soft squats will turn to man coverage and basically follow them back the entire way, which is really helpful. Some of my favorite cover twos in this game are soft squats. If I can, I can choose soft squats out of nowhere, I typically will over other cover twos. Make this is a very good pass defense. Now, the best run defense for sure would be the cover four quarters. I've said this in multiple videos that cover four is just a very good run defense. So let's go and let's pick that. I'll show you guys, uh, you know, how this is going to look against some run plays. Uh, and we'll just basically pick, um, you know, the inside zone because this is what you're going to, you're only really going to use this defense against gun formations. And this is going to be uh, obviously the, the number one run play when it comes to gun formations. So let's go and let's pick that. Now, as far as any setup would go, I would just basically base and line, show blitz, and base and line again because that basically brings the safeties in and the cornerback back. Uh, I'd also like to bring these guys in a little bit because they're really going to react like linebackers. So you'll see when this play starts, as long as you don't guess pass, Pass, these these guys will come down and they'll basically fill holes when it comes to um, you know this particular uh, style of defense. So base blitz, base line, show blitz, base line is going to be the look. You can also pinch your defensive line. That's one of the things about this particular defense uh, is you can you know it's got four down linemen. Other defenses like Dollar and you know three four uh, defenses in this a lot of times have only three down linemen, which really isn't that great. Uh, but this year, I mean, I could shift my line. You know, if I'm going to pinch it, I'm also going to shift it because basically um, you know this is the most likely run play is going to be uh, an inside zone you can see we, we're getting better and better at shutting this down so really easy setup baseline show blitz baseline pinch the defensive line and shift the defensive line to the left because that's the most likely uh, direction that you'll get a, a running play uh, and then you'll see how you know I don't really have to do a lot the safeties will typically fill the hole and we'll have a really good run defense against inside zones now there's also a really good pass defense variation that I like to use uh, the cover three cloud the thing about the cover three cloud is anytime a lot there's a lot of plays out there that I won't play touchdowns against cover threes that the cover three cloud won't react to the same way so let's go let's pick the PAD bounce here just pick some at random cover three cloud because this particular cornerback is playing more like a deep half 
Um, it, it just you can't bomb it the same way you can other cover threes because this guy will not react the same way, which is really nice. So that's something just to think about uh, when it comes to pass defense. This is one of the better pass defenses. I'll typically put uh, this cornerback on a cloud flat, although a lot of times I feel like um, keeping him in a um, in a uh, hard flat is beneficial. Uh, it does leave a lot of space between that and the deep zone. So I feel like playing over the top just to put him into a cloud flat a lot of times is really a better move. And that's pretty much it. This is not going to get a ton of pressure, but this is going to be a good uh, base defense to use. As you can see here, nothing's really open, and the quarterback takes a pressure or it takes a you know a sack based on the fact that nothing's really open. But there's not really a lot to this play. If you think they might be running or you think they might be throwing short, you can hard flat on both sides as well. Um, that's something that, you know, you can hard flat and then you can switch over to a cloud flat to have them both in cloud flats. I mean, there's a lot of options as far as coverage adjustments. That's pretty much it. That's really the only adjustment you're going to make is uh, playing over the top or playing underneath or, you know, a combination of those things. There's no really other adjustments that you need to make here as, you know, I pretty much know the play now. I know that this is where the where the uh, tension is going to be. And you can see we're getting a lot of coverage sacks based on the fact that there's nothing really open. So this is definitely one of the better pass coverages in this defense. Now the next play, we're just going to go over and pick the DB Blitz. This is something I wouldn't say you want to run this very often, but this is definitely something you can mix in. Now this play here, to be successful, um, there's quite a few things that you can do. Um, number one, the cornerbacks, I like them at a depth where they're, where they're a little bit further out and more to the line. You can do all that just by simply pressing them. Uh, but some people might not want to go that route based on the fact that the cornerbacks press too. Um, I think that that's fine. Like I said, as long as the safeties don't press, this should be fine. Then I'm going to pinch my defensive line, which is deep pad to the left and down. And I'm going to blitz my user and then come down right over this gap here to try to basically pinch the offensive line so the cornerbacks have a much better or uh, much easier route to get around. Also, I'm going to guess pass. And I have the option, if I want to, um, to put to, to QB contain so that that basically just once again helps the cornerbacks get around so all my setups here i am man to the running back though so if he goes down a pattern i have to follow but ultimately i want to try to stay home long enough to pull alignment so that you can see basically both the cornerbacks come off of the both edges like i said this is a heavy pressure blitz this is not something you're going to want to do all the time but if you want to mix in a very high pressure blitz this is a very good one to use so you can see here because i have the qb contains going because i pull the center you can see neither one of these guys gets blocked even the running back who is blocking just watches this guy go right around him for whatever reason and we have both cornerbacks meeting at the quarterback for a very easy uh, sack so like i said there's a little bit of a setup like i said you can press pitch the defensive line qb contain which is you know if people don't know that's that's the right bumper twice then I'm going to blitz my user, guess pass, bring him down over the line. Now here's what I was talking about as far as this guy here can't be in a keeping contain. You got to you got to move him out ever so slightly just to get him off that keeping contain, or else he won't be as effective. So here we go one more time. Let's so just watch this running back. Uh, you know, once again, this time he actually picks up, but you can see the keeping contains there. I mean, this entire play is just pressure, pressure, pressure from everywhere. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, the keeping contain isn't 100 necessary. Um, you can run it without the QB contain, but you can see how effective that could be. So I'm going to come over to the center one more time. Like I said, i got to watch that running back. That running back is my responsibility. But if I can just press on that center and release and then get back in the zone, you can see once again the quarterback is just running for his life right away. And you can see the coverage is... And you can see the coverage is pretty good too. The only receiver that really got open uh, was 84. He kind of got bumped. Uh, into being open, but pretty much every other route was shut down. All the all the out routes, corner routes. I mean, you might have, you know, for the most part, the only thing you really could have threw to was probably that short route to 84, which is something I want to live with. But ultimately, it's a man coverage, so if you run this too much, people will beat it with slants and drags and zigs. And there's plenty of routes to beat this particular defense with. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more defenses, more full defensive breakdowns, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.